I just want to mention to all of those in office, yes, <laughs> don't ever say that it will never happen, <laughs> that you're not getting sued, <laughs> that you have no knowledge. Ooch. <laughs> you are actually personally liable for, yes, <laughs> uh, the actual oath of office, and um, I am that citizen that will sue you, yes. I will sue you for violating the oath that requires you to have permanent allegiance to the Constitution of the United States. Hmm? Now, um, piracies, oh, felonies, oh, and offenses against the laws of nations, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, there's an origin of the clause, yes, 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 when the United States ceased to be part of the British Empire, assumed the character of an independent nation, they became subject to that system of rules which reason, morality, and custom had established among civilized nations of Europe as their public law. The faithful observance of this law is essential to national character, yes. I would say that the character of the United States of America has been damaged. Yes. <laughs> this thought of the nation having a character. Yes. Where we always enforce the laws. We do not have any allegiance to any family. Yes. <laughs> and when you have knowledge that the Constitution of the United States is being violated, <laughs> you always support and defend the Constitution of the nation. <laughs> now, it wasn't that difficult for you to do this. But your family convinced you that you did not have to have allegiance to the United States of America. You said, as long as they come the money, I'll do whatever they say. You said that you could use the judicial system as some sort of a show. Yes. <laughs> that you could uh, sit there. In fact, you know those desktops? Yes. Did you get those of every oath, badge, and attorney of the United States? Yes. All those that are legally, yes, and professionally uh -huh, liable for the enforcement of the laws of the United States. Yeah. And you got your the email addresses, Ooh, the IP addresses. I'd like to get the seat, <laughs> the seat of judgment. <laughs> See, quite often when you're looking at the computer, mm -hmm, there's the possibility of electromagnetic frequencies, yes, radiating through the monitor itself, yes. Now, let's say you're sitting there as a judge, yes, mm -hmm, Supreme Court of the United States, yes. You sit there every day in the same GPS location thinking to yourselves, yes. I know that his rights are being violated. <clears throat> I know that his sons are being kidnapped. Yes, I know that the school is maliciously harassing the same man day after day after day. <clears throat> but sometimes it's the swirl. Ooch. It is the uh, snap-on. <clears throat> it is the physical GPS location where you sit there every day. Yes, where I could tag you. Oh, I could ping you. <clears throat> <laughs> and I could swirl you so that you would think that you have no allegiance to this great nation. <laughs> now, when you consider, yes, the actual desktop I was telling you about. 